सब्जेक्ट हाइड्रोलॉजी चैप्टर हाइड्रोलॉजी बेसिक्स टॉपिक न्यूमेरिकल वन नंबर वन ऑन वाटर बजट इक्वेशन सो ना स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट अस सॉल्व द फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल ऑन द वाटर बजट इक्वेशन इट्स अ वेरी इजी न्यूमेरिकल द क्वेश्चन इट सेज दैट अ कैचमेंट ऑफ एरिया 100 हेक्टेयर्स a catchment of area 100 hectares now let me tell you about the hectares and about kilometer square this question uh, this unit is very frequent in hydrology in irrigation right and in irrigation now 1 hectare 1 hectare is 10 raised to the power 4 meter square and 1 kil and you can say 1000 hectare 1000 sorry 100 hectares 100 hectares is one kilometer square, right? Uh, if you if you know this unit, then you can determine like this. That is one thousand meter is one kilometer. So ten is to power six meter square is one. Uh, ten is to power six. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, square is one kilometer square, right? Okay. Now what I have to do is that now just you can just put it like this. Uh, divide it with ten to power six, right? So you will be getting 10 to the power minus 2 that is 100 hectares is 1 kilometer square. Right? Just remember this and you will get the other also. Right? So hectare is a very common unit in hydrology as well as in irrigation. Clear? Now a catchment of 100 hectares received a rainfall of 10 centimeter. 10 centimeter is the rainfall. It means that the depth of the rainfall is given to you. The depth of the rainfall is given to you. Right? In 2 hours. So time frame is also given. At the outlet, now at the outlet of this catchment, the stream draining, the catchment was dry, dry before the storm. So when the storm came before it was dry, the stream was dry, right? And experienced a runoff lasting for 8 hours. So now after the precipitation has come, after the rainfall has come, the stream it has, uh, you can say it has lasted for 8 hours, right? With an average discharge, average discharge is given to me as... 2 meter cube per second. Now I can determine the volume also because time is given to me for how much time the average this is the average discharge. I can determine the volume also, right? The stream was again dry. Now it is again dry after the runoff, right? It is again dry. What is the loss of water? This uh, the four options are given. So it's a very easy question. Just apply the water budget equation, you will get the answer. So let us apply the water budget equation. We have to calculate the losses. So I told you that the precipitation minus runoff plus evaporation plus transpiration plus groundwater will give you storage how much the storage is right or you can say that the inflow minus outflow will give you storage right so let us see that in this equation uh, catchment is given to you now what will be the inflow so inflow will be the precipitation which has occurred right so over a over an area of 100 hectares how much the precipitation is 10 centimeter the rainfall is 10 centimeter so let me first of all calculate the volume right so inlet volume so inlet or inflow volume will be equal to how much hectare is 100 hectares i know that one hectare is 10 to the power 4 meter square so 100 hectare will be equal to 10 to the power 6 meter square right so 10 to the power 6 meter square into 10 centimeter let me convert it in meter so it will be equal to 10 raised to the power 5 meter cube is the inlet 10 to the power 5 meter cube is the inlet now let me calculate the outlet also so outlet will be equal to in inflow minus outflow right inflow minus outflow so how much is outflow outflow which is going away from the stream right how much uh, it is going away from the stream so a uh, runoff lasting for 8 hours with an average discharge of 2 meter cube per second now let me calculate outflow also outflow outflow will be equal to because discharge is given to you 2 meter cube per second into time now time will be in seconds so 8 hours is given to you so 8 hours clear now how many uh, how many minutes it has 60 minutes and how many seconds per minute has 60 seconds so this will be equal to let me calculate how much will it be so it will be equal to 8 into 2 into 3600 it comes out to be 57600 it comes out to be 57600 meter cube right so this is the discharge now let me subtract these two 
that is inflow minus outflow will be equal to delta storage and delta storage will be the losses so it will be equal to storage can be in the form of different uh, depressions they, it can be in the form of you can say or uh, plants also there can be some storage so that is the losses right so it will be equal to 10 is to power 5 minus 5 7 6 double 0 it comes out to be 4 to 4 double 0 it comes out to be 4 to 4 double 0 4 to 4 double 0 is the correct answer so which answer is this so students i was just checking the question in question it is given to me and with an average discharge of 1 by 2 so this is 1 by 2 not 2 right this is 1 by 2 that is 0.5 right so in question i just uh, wrote it incorrectly in question it is given to me as 1 by 2 meter cube per second right so 1 by 2 meter cube per second everything is good so we have 1 by 2 here right so if you divide with let's say divide it with 4 so i will be getting let me rub this i will be getting 60 into 60 into 8 divided by 2 it comes out to be 1 double 4 double 0 right it comes out to be 1 double 4 double 0 meter cube is the outlet flow the uh, change in storage would be change in storage would be how much is this minus 10 raised to power 5 it comes out to be 8 5 6 double 0 so 8 5 6 double 0 will be the losses in meter cube so which is the correct answer the b is the correct answer so i wrote it as 2 but the, uh, uh, in the question it was given as 1 by 2 right not the 2 right so i hope that you have understood this numerical now let's move to the next topic and understand about the rainfall the how to measure the rainfall what are the various methods of measurement of depth of rainfall so let's move to the next topic thank you